Here, when we think, how can I make no balance work for me? <laughs> so here, I push him, and he goes, he goes to take my energy. And as, as he's, look at this, uh, in case you no, might not know, it's working quite well, because it's going to work on an outbound wrist lock, in case people don't catch this, right? Now, I know that this goes this way. If I resist it, I'll probably get my arm torn. Now, now this is really funny, because now watch what he goes to do. He's taking this. Now, and see, when this lifts it up, you see how this takes my body this way? And then he could throw me, right? Everybody understand this? That's because he's breaking my balance. Now when you go to throw me, and I go, oh, I don't have no balance. It, it's going to put him in a compromising spot from here. Now, it's kind of easy here because I'm, I, I'm twisted up like this. He's in a spot. I can take out his knees. I can hit him, do anything. If he can come to hit me, because he's coming to fight. I'm pushing down, he pushes up, and if I want to, I can break his push, either coming there or coming there. Do you follow me? If I try to hold him down here, and he's pushing up with his center of gravity, I can't hold him here. Right? And with that, he could give me an elbow to my chin, my chest. So to prevent that, I can do this to him to stop him, come back up. I can do this to him to stop him, or I can let him come to do what he wants to do, and, and even here. Now look, I'm going to have no balance here. How do you make no balance work for you? Go, carry on. No, do what you're doing. I have no balance here. Right? And then we're going to be in choke up time mm. again. So because I'm not working on balance, I'm not working on strength, I'm not working on my resistance, it doesn't really matter what he's, he's doing because some people think, how can you have no balance? I don't need balance. You just need to understand how the body works and doesn't work. Now, to get there, you have to learn balance. You have to understand balance. You have to get really good and balance and control your life. If we're here, let's say I do something stupid. I go to do, uh, uh, let's say, Osoto Gary, but instead of doing it behind his lead leg, I compromise my back Ooh. and body by doing it this way. Do you follow me? This is nasty. You never want to do this because it's, it's really um, opening yourself up for a quick reversal. So when I go to do this and he goes to, to reverse me or whatever he's doing, if I have no balance, do, do, take me down. Take me down. <laughs> now, <laughs> but you don't understand what happened there because he didn't know what he was going to do. I knew what was going to happen. He had no idea. He just knew he was going to throw me, except my body just didn't go the way that he hoped it to go. If I had any resistance, he would have been able to use that against me. Right? So a lot of people associate balance with resistance. You can see how that works. I have to be focused. I have to understand, put everything in its place, so I have control. Now, what I'm trying to explain here is a lesson in saying that you can have control without control. You can flow with what is if you understand it to a higher degree. Most people in life never really get to that point because it's a, it's a long, drawn-out process. And they still think analytically of saying, I've got to cross all my T's, dot all my I's, put my quotations in the right places and they're uniformed in their thinking. So they will resist. So this little lecture here is just to be, make you become aware that, and, and it really doesn't matter here, I'll bow you out and just come on up here Jake. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> 
So here, let's say, and it doesn't really matter. Jake can come to punch me, and if I move out of the way, I get no resistance, right? But since he put himself in this position, he has no resistance this way, and then no resistance this way. Well, sorry, Jake. It's okay. Uh, he went well with it. He did a flow. He did what I'm trying to teach you and demonstrate to you. <laughs> Except for I was in this position that took him up this way. Right? And I still kept a hold of his arm so that if I wanted to torque it and, and block. See, if I didn't do this, he'd snake right around me. But since I understand how, how this works, I have to change the back over. Right? But that's just an, another. You have to be aware of what somebody does. Let's say, for example, you from here, simple. I go to do something, and Jake comes to counter me, and you can see he's pushing me. And this can hurt me because I have no balance. But if I go with this, <laughs> this is wonderful. Because it's magic, it just happened, never done it before. It's kind of cool. <laughs> now, it's nice because I'm stepping on his toe at the same time, so he can't move it out of the way. So I, I just let loose of that a wee bit for you. But I locked him up here. He's a good, he's a master level. See, Jiu Jitsu practitioner, he knows he wants to shoot out there and release that. But in, in, in that position, I want to trap this arm here and just pop it here. Right? If he bends it again, it, it will end up becoming here again. It will be like Beijing Vu again. So here again. So he's moving with it. So I just have to get ahead of where he's moving it to. Right? So. <laughs> See, this hurts, but I move my arm up my leg this way. Tighten this up on. So it, it's nice because you have to be in a position that if I am tough and I even went to, he's out, see, he's blocking me out because he feels that I was going to go to throw him this way. He's blocking me out with his energy because I have resistance because I want to maintain my balance and stability. But if I don't, I'm going to be in this position here. Right? So it'll all fit in there. So this little demonstration is just to say, sometimes through the process of learning, you develop this balance, balance in your life, get everything organized. Then you have to think outside of that box in order to be able to grow and evolve to a higher level. Anyways, so that's it for my little lecture today. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs>